President Trump says he will pass on meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping before next month's major trade deadline when a new harsher round of tariffs could kick in. Kayla Tashi joins us now from Washington. Good morning, Kayla. Good morning, Wolf. The president made that announcement in the Oval Office yesterday for an event where reporters were present. And he was asked at the end whether he would meet with China's President Xi Jinping. And he said it's probably too soon, but that the two would maybe meet in the next month. Of course, the reason why people are focused on this March 1st deadline, it was the deadline set by the United States uh, in its trade truce with China back at the G20. And it is also the date at which tariffs will automatically double from 10 percent to 25 percent on some $200 billion in Chinese goods. Now, that is set to happen automatically unless there is a presidential memorandum that President Trump signs. That would require talks to continue progressing with China. And that is happening behind the scenes. Uh, remember, a deputy delegation will be going to China early next week. The Treasury Secretary and the Trade Representative will be joining later in the week. So they are still working, as Secretary Mnuchin says, around the clock for a deal. And the president remains predisposed toward making one. There are two desires at play here. On one hand, you have the president's desire and many of his outside uh, GOP advisors uh, to limit the disruption to the U.S. economy going into the re-election season. On the flip side, you have the desire to not let this opportunity and the leverage that the president has created with tariffs pass and to really hold China to account this time and that if this moment passes, they won't be able to reopen this conversation at this level again, Wolf. Kayla, is there any sense uh, that uh, the recent back and forth uh, on the uh, domestic front uh, in, in relation particularly to the shutdown has altered whether the Chinese side see him as, as tough or weak? Well, it's worth noting that the Chinese haven't significantly altered their offer. Some of the things that they're offering now are the same things that they were offering in 2017, an opening of the financial services industry, which back in 2017, the administration actually rejected uh, as a deliverable that the president would announce when he went to China. That wasn't viewed as strong enough. Uh, so the fact that China is willing to uh, table some of the same items, just sort of recycling its own list, uh, for lack of a better word, I think that that can be interpreted in two ways. One, maybe they think that uh, the administration is on weaker footing this time and the president is uh, slightly more willing to get a deal and that the same offers could work this time. On the other hand, uh, China could just not be willing to do much more uh, and hope that uh, you know, that sort of death by a thousand cuts. If they keep saying they'll do certain things over and over and over again, uh, potentially uh, they, the White House will change its mind.